What I'm going to do today is collect some additional information about your medical history, then do a physical exam, and then set up a plan for follow-ups if necessary. But uh, before we get started, do you have any specific questions or anything you want to make sure that we cover today? I want to talk to you about screening for uterine cancer. My cousin was diagnosed with it recently. She's pretty young to have it, I think, and not doing very well. Is she undergoing treatment? Yes, she is having radiation now. We will come back to this and discuss your risk and screening options. For right now, let's talk about your own health. Okay, coming back to your concern about the uterine cancer, let's run through a few questions to get some more information. Are your menstrual cycles regular? Yes, I take the pill. Have you had any vaginal bleeding between periods? No. Have you had any unusual pelvic pain lately that would be anything different than your normal menstrual cramps? No. Any pain during urination? No. How about during sexual intercourse? No. Has your cousin or her physicians recommended that family members seek care? I don't think so. I was just curious about my own risk since she's not that much older than me. There are some things that run in families that can increase that risk, but there are other risk factors for uterine cancer as well, including um, obesity and having a child at an older age. For you, those risk factors are not present. Did you breastfeed your child? Yes, for about a year. And you're on the pill. How long have you been taking it? Pretty consistently since about a year after my son was born. As you may know, the pill can actually reduce your risk a small amount for uh, uterine, ovarian, and colon cancers. Now, it's also associated with a small risk increase for breast cancer, but you uh, don't seem to have other risk factors for that. In any case, we can discuss your other cancer risks further if it becomes a concern. Okay, that's good to know. You don't have personal risk factors that would increase your risk for uterine cancer. Mm -hmm. Let's then look more closely at your family history. Okay. I see you have an aunt with lung cancer, and your father and grandmother also had colon cancer? Yes, that's right. How old was your father when he was uh, diagnosed with colon cancer? He was 61. And is he still living? Uh, no, he passed away last year due to a heart attack. And how old was he when he passed away? 65. Do you know how old your grandmother was when she had colon cancer? Um, she was in her 50s, I think. And is she still living? No, she passed away in her late 50s. I don't know if it was due to the cancer or not. I don't know much about her history. Was this your father's mother? Yes. How old was your aunt when she was diagnosed with lung cancer? Uh, she was 64. And is she still alive? Yes, she is and doing well. Uh, was she a smoker? Yes, uh, she smoked quite a bit when I was younger, but she quit maybe 10 years ago or so. And as far as you know, was she ever exposed to any other possible causes of lung cancer, uh, like radon or asbestos? I don't know about the exposures, not to my knowledge. And is this aunt on your mom's side of the family or your dad's? My mom's side. Going back to your cousin with uterine cancer, what is her name? Rachel. Rachel. And is Rachel related to you on your mom's side of your family or your dad's? On my dad's side. Uh, Rachel's dad and my dad were brothers. So how old is Rachel now? She is 43. And how old was she when she was diagnosed? She was 42 when she found out. Now, is there anybody else in the family with cancer either side? No, I don't think so. Uh, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a 32-year-old sister. Is she a full sister or a half sister? Full sister. Any health problems for her? No, she's, she's in good health. Now, I see that your mother has diabetes. When was this diagnosed? Um, just last year. She's not on medication, just trying to lose weight and exercise. Anybody else in the family with diabetes? No. Did your father have any other siblings other than your uncle, who is Rachel's father? Yes, he has a sister, June, who is still alive. How old is she? Uh, she's in her early 60s, 63, I think. Any health concerns for her? No, not that I know of. And Rachel's father, how old is he? He passed away a while ago. He actually died in a car crash when he was about 40. Do you have any other cousins on that side of the family other than Rachel? No. All right, at this point, is there anything else about the family history you would like me to know or any questions you want to ask at this time? No, I don't think so. Well, I'm glad we went over all this. Based on the number of people in your family with cancer, 
I would like to review this information with a colleague to see if there would be specific recommendations for your screening, or if you should see a specialist to further discuss cancer screening. Okay.